Welcome back to another episode. My name is John, and today we are going to talk about why we treat the people close to us the worst sometimes. So I still live with my mom, and from time to time I come home from work, and I had a long day. It's been a bit tense, and I get home, get through the door. And mum asked me to do her a favor, for example, to pay some bills. Immediately, I get frustrated and angry, and I put it out on her. You know, I'm short. I do her the favor, but I'm very、uh, irritable about it. And、uh, and another example: sometimes I come home from work and I see my missus and. I'm quite irritable towards her, short, not as talkative, and these are the people most close to me. And at work, I can be quite positive, and help people, and and be patient. But for some reason, the people close to us, the people who matter to us, we sometimes treat them quite badly. So wh- why is this happening? Why is this such a common trait? I'm not sure if it happens to you, but. I'm, I'm sure sometimes we we are quite mean to the people that are close to us. So one of the reasons why is because the people close to us, say our our parents, our siblings, our partners, they see who we are underneath all the pretend that we do. So when we go to work, when we go to parties, when we go to meetings, we all have different. Personas that we put on, different personalities that we have to adopt, different masks. Now, this isn't necessarily a bad thing. You have you be your you are yourself in certain situations, but you you require to be a different person in different situations. You can't expect to be your fun partying self in a business meeting, right? You have to bring that business persona out during those times of need. So this isn't a, a bad thing. It's just a different part of your personality has to come for the right situation. And actually, the Greek word for personality is mask. You know, you put your mask on for different situations. So the, one of the reasons why we become so irritable and angry and short with the ones we love is because when we are with them, we don't need to put in on any mask. They see us for who we are. They see our flaws and and the worst part of us. We don't need to pretend and put that effort in. So that is that's one of the reasons why we become quite irritable towards them. Now, this isn't an excuse. It's not an excuse to allow us and enable us to be this way、uh, around the people we love because we don't want to be spreading that negative energy with these people. So how do we go? About changing this behavior. So the first sign and the first thing we have to do is to be able to recognize that you are feeling these negative emotions. So it's very important to, when you feel these emotions inside, to name it. So once we name it, we have an objective point of view. We, we are not our emotions, and we step away out of being. All wrapped up in the emotions of feeling frustrated, angry. So once we name it, we can see it from a different point of view, and we are, we can step back from it. And that leads us to the second part of how we change this behavior, and it's the most important part. Once you recognize it, the second thing you do is that you have a choice. Right now, this moment in time, you've seen that you're angry or frustrated. You have a choice. You have two options. Option one: stay where you are and be frustrated and angry, and let it ruin. The next few hours of your interactions with your loved one, or maybe even extend to a few days, and sit in that pessimistic, negative feeling. Option two is recognize it and change your story. So, everyone, we have a story we always tell ourselves, right? For example, how often has it been when you're driving and someone cuts through your lane? You know, all all of a sudden, and you get quite frustrated and angry. The story we often tell of ourselves is that you know they're rude, they're cut in, they're dangerous, they're stupid. You get frustrated about these thoughts, and you get quite angry. You might honk the horn, you might yell, and then your the rest of your day is ruined because of this negative event. Whereas, if you change the story, 
right? Th this is the story that you made up. You assumed that they were negative, that they were angry, that they're, that they're hostile and they're just jumping in the queue because they're rude and these, these people just make you angry, right? And the rest of your day is ruined. Or you can change that story. It could be very well that their story is that they're rushing to the hospital, they're on a, you know, they're about to miss their flight, they didn't mean to cut you off, they just, they don't normally go this road, so they're confused by the layout, so they accidentally cut you off. In that situation, you would be much more understanding, much more calm, like, you know, uh, you know I, I've been in that situation, I've cut people off as well, and I don't mean to be uh, that way in that moment in time. So there's, there's, there's choosing your story, whichever reality you want to choose. It doesn't matter if you're right or wrong. One option makes you angry for the rest of the day. One option allows you to be peaceful and let it be. So it is this point in time, we have that choice to either be angry or let it be. And um, one of the things I've actually implemented recently is that Sometimes it's hard for us to recognize, do the first step and recognize when we're angry. So sometimes when I get frustrated, I go quiet and my missus, she picks up very quick. She's able to recognize that earlier than I can. So I tell her every time she sees me behaving this way to send me a message that I've sent myself to myself. And the letter goes, hey me, it's me. I don't know why you're frustrated right now. I don't know the context. But all I know is you have a choice. Right now, you can either stay angry for the next few hours, ruin the rest of your date night or whatever you're doing, or you can have a choice and switch it around and be happy. So what I want you to do now is to laugh out loud. Laugh out loud until you feel better. And better yet, if, you, if you're in a situation you can, jump up and down and laugh. So this will change our body, change our state, and take us out of that negative thinking. So that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoy the content. I will see you next time.